Owen, oh, well, an afternoon of mixed emotions. Primarily, I thought, frustration at the way you played up till you were 5-0 down. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it sounds... Uh, probably sounds bizarre to see it, but I think, uh, you know, if somebody was to watch the entirety of that match, which you did, you'll know that, you know, that was never a 5-3 scoreline uh, against us. I mean, for huge periods of that game, we, we controlled the game, we passed the ball really well, scored three goals, if truth be told, could have had seven or eight in the day. Uh, having said that, I'm annoyed, obviously, at the goals we, we conceived. Uh, one or two contentious decisions. Uh, I mean, I'm loath to, to start speaking about the officials. What I would say is anybody watch the game, and please you be the judge of what you think went on. But I was certainly disappointed by one or two things. I know it's a difficult task, so so we'll leave it at that. Uh, but again, we made some some poor decisions ourselves, defensively, my players, and uh, they know, I spoke to them at length there, we can't at this level continue to give goals. Uh, we know we're effective when we go forward. We know we can pass and move the ball as well as anybody, I believe. Uh, but we have to obviously brush up in that, and, and we didn't do it today. I mean, uh, again, some decisions went against us. Strange, well, sorry, big moments in the game. Uh, there we go. How influential do you feel? I mean, I'm not going to suggest you want to criticise the referee, as you've just said, but how influential do you feel his decisions were on the over, overall outcome, and how much was it like switching off for the first goal and, and situations like that? Well, I mean, well, any goal changes the course of a game. There's no doubt about that. Uh, I mean, the first goal was a quickly taken free kick by Scott Parker, who, to be fair to West Ham, I thought was a, an outstanding player in the day. I mean, a really gifted player. Uh, and we made a poor decision. I mean, whether the lad probably is on side, so I've got no argument that. I certainly felt that, that Franco had, had handballed the, uh, when the ball was thrown in and had controlled it with his arm. And uh, I thought that was a free kick. It wasn't given. Ryan made a save, and maybe we could have ragged it better. So there was one or two things. I mean, the fourth goal, I felt, was a free kick and it was given against us. But having said that, we still have to defend it when it comes in. So there's a bit of, a bit of everything in there. So we just need to go on with it. I mean, I'm not looking to blame anybody. I mean, it's a difficult job being officials. I just felt we came out on the wrong side of some decisions today. Hopefully on another day, we'll, we'll get there. Uh, they'll be favourable for, uh, for us, although it's uh, not happened too often. As you say, people will look at the scoreline and they think another unhappy away day for Burnley. Is that the case? I mean, obviously, you look at the, the, the heavy number of goals you're conceding away from home. Well, I mean, it is an un unhappy away day because uh, we came here to get all three points. And, uh, you know, as strange as it sounds, we haven't been 5 nothing down in the game. We, <laughs> I mean, you, you see it yourself, we controlled the first half to, prior to, to West Ham scoring a goal and they get their tails up. But uh, we offered an awful lot to the game. We showed uh, unbelievable courage and bravery at 5 nil down because it's easy to feel sorry for yourself. But we didn't. I mean, we scored three goals and in that period, as you know. We could have had a few more to add to that, hit the post, a few things flying by the post, so... Uh, yeah, so I'm disappointed not to have any points, but again, uh, the courage, the bravery, my lads show. I mean, it's uh, they do it on a game to game basis, and uh, we know uh, we're on a learning curve. We're, we're trying to evolve and get better at this level, uh, and there's things we can brush up on. But I said, you know, it's more individual mistakes than than, uh, than anything to do with the, the teamwork today. You lost your captain to a red card late on. Any complaints about that? Yeah, well, I mean, I'd need to see it again. I was 40 yards away, but I, I mean, he was shot with a pass back. We're not excusing that for a minute, but uh, Brian had came to, to clear the danger, and I think the skipper stepped in front of it, and the lad, you know, to, for my take on it, certainly careered into the back of him, and, uh, you know, it's a double blow, one to concede the free kick, and obviously to have my captain suspended now, who's been outstanding for me, and uh, I'll need to see it again, but I felt, you know, at that stage of the game, we were harshly dealt with. Just finally, now this is the last net game of, uh, of November. We're now into December. 17 points on the border after 14 games. Is that uh, above or below your, your hopes and, and dreams for the season so far? Well, I mean, I don't... Uh, you look at periods in, in terms of the end of November and think what kind of target we should have. What I do believe is we should have a few, few more points than what we have. And uh, it would have been nice to be sitting here tonight with 20 because that's what we came to get. And, I mean, <laughs> as strange as it sounds because of the game. You know, if we'd have got that first goal early on, I believe we don't want to get it. As it is, we can back strongly and who knows, another 10 minutes and I might have been leaving here with points.